Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB AI tester certification. We are in chapter 11 and talking about how to use AI for testing itself. And today we'll be continuing with our next set of options under this chapter, which is 11.3 using AI for test case generation and 11.4 using AI for the optimization of regression test suites. The very first option, of course, is talking about how to make use of AI for the test case generation. The use of AI to generate tests can be a very effective technique for quickly create, creating testing assets and maximizing coverage, which includes the code or requirement coverage itself. The basis for generating these tests include the source code, the user interface, and a machine-readable test model. Some tools also base test on the observation of low level behavior of the system through instrumentation or through log files. Now, in just one line, this particular statement has told you that talking about the test case generation, first of all, is minimizing the effort for the required number of efficient test cases. We do understand that we have been facing challenges related to creating efficient test cases. Writing test cases is not a big deal, but creating efficient number and efficient test cases for finding defects or getting the required coverage has always been a challenge. And that's where AI is trying to pull up those certain tests of techniques, which can help us to build those minimum number of test cases, which are enough for having the required set of coverage. And when you talk about the you know, machine readable test model, interfaces, source code will only be the input which is possible for AI system to understand. Looking at a particular code, scanning it can very well tell you what is the minimum number of test cases for statement coverage, decision coverage, etc. Same way if I talk about the instrumentation that would be covering all the log analyzers where we talk about the automotive industry, you talk about the hardware industry, all these analyzers would be very, very helpful. And at the same time, they are covering or targeting any sort of industry, just like a model-based testing tool, which converts scripts, automation scripts, from a model. However, unless a test model that defines required behavior is used as the basis of the test, this form of test generation generally suffers from a test oracle problem because the AI-based tools does not know what the expected result should be for a given set of test data. That means it is going to work as a mind itself. That means we need to also tell the AI system that what is that we are expecting to have if these kind of steps are performed on a certain application. That means we have to just pre-feed this particular library, this small piece of machine to come up with possible outcomes according to that. One solution is to use back-to-back -back testing if a suitable system is available to use a pseudocode Alternatively, the test could be run with expected result that neither an application not responding, nor a system crashed occurred, or other similar simple failures indicators. That means test could also be run with expected results where we are expecting the negative outputs. That means we are not going to be limited with respect to the positive and the negative scenario both. Research comparing AI-based test generation tools with similar non-AI first testing tools shows that the AI-based tools can achieve equivalent levels of coverage and find more defects while reducing the average sequence of steps needed to cause a failure from an average of around 15,000 steps to almost around 100 steps. This makes debugging far easier. So that means the tool is not just not going to do the preparation of the test cases, but also going to suggest you the minimum number of test cases required to prepare this information so that when it comes to the execution, the team doesn't have to spend a lot of time. So AI is looking forward to do a lot of work for you in the field of testing, right from analyzing a defect or preparing a test case and many other things. So it's just going to build up in such a way that if you're just not writing, like, writing lengthy test, we are also looking forward to bring up some of the common interested things which would help you to minimize your effort. At the same time, do not compromise with the confidence and the coverage required. On the same note, we are talking about using AI for the optimization of regression test suite. I think again, uh, one of the testing common principles says that pesticide paradox, we have to be beware of that. Yet yeah, that means 
Using similar test cases again and again over a period of time will not help you yield a good new set of defects, right? If you keep running the same set of test cases on the same application or even on a new application, you are not covering the way the product has evolved. So it certainly becomes challenge that how exactly do you determine the new set of defects every time a change takes place. So regression test suites are a good candidate for revisions over a period of time as and when the product evolves. So here the AI can be helpful or useful at any point of time to determine how to optimize or what optimizations is required in your regression test suite. So as the changes are made to the system, a new tests are created executed and become candidate for regression test suite. To prevent regression test suites from growing too large, they should be frequently optimized to select, prioritized, and even augment the test cases to create a more effective and efficient regression test suite. Certainly, we may just not be looking forward to add new test cases, but also retire those test cases which are no longer helpful or required. An AI-based system or AI-based tools can perform optimization of regression test suite by analyzing, for example, the information from previous test results, associated effects, and the latest changes that have been made, such as features which are broken from frequently and which test exercise code impacted by the recent changes. So it's just gonna target every single thing that what's transforming in the application and accordingly look forward to keep a definite size of the regression because it may grow very huge over a period of time if, if you look forward to consistently keep adding. So this is going to talk about the previous test results which are going to count for the efficient test cases. Associated defects would be for the traceability and of course the latest changes that have been made would be considered to determine that if we really need to add a new set of test case to cover that or the existing test cases would be enough. Okay, so research shows that reduction of 50% in the size of regression test suite can be achieved while still detecting most defects. And reduction of 40% in the test execution duration can be reached without significant reduction in fault detection for continuous integration testing. That means they are making really heavy claims that 50% is not a small thing to deal with reduction in the size of the test suite, but being more competitive and being more you know, targeted towards getting the required number of defects or defect detection feature. At the same time, the execution duration will also be reducing to 40% of time, then no matter automation, but still further 40% reduction in the time of execution while being significant enough to have the best detection possible in the continuous integration testing. So that's gonna be really amazing for sure. And I think the area is still under exploration and you would certainly be coming up with a lot of new innovations in the area of AI for testing itself. Let's see how exactly this goes. Anyways, that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the content. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.